He made these comments uh, at a business forum here in Beijing. He is in Beijing for his first official state visit to China, and most of the formal activities took place throughout the day today. This business forum was initially thought to be a bit of an afterthought. We weren't expecting really major news to come out of it, but it was towards the end of his keynote address to some hundreds of business leaders and Chinese officials that he had this, what felt like an off-the-cuff remark, according to one person I spoke to in the room. Let's show you what he had to say. Your Honours, in this venue, I announce my separation from the United States. <laughs> Both in military, not maybe social before the Philippines, both in military but economics also. And so let's talk about why that's important here. The Philippines and the United States have been mutual defense treaty allies for decades. The Philippines is one of, if not the strongest ally, historically speaking, for the United States in the South China Sea area in Southeast Asia. So if there was a separation, as the president suggested, that would mean a couple of things. One, that would mean that treaty would go out the window. So if any country attacked the Philippines, the United States would not be obligated to come to its defense, and vice versa. Secondly, any U.S. military presence in the Philippines, if this true separation was enacted, that military presence would have to go away. And that has huge implications in the South China Sea where you have these regional powers and frankly big global powers like China and the United States really jockeying for position in one of the world's uh, areas that has the most tensions. And so it really, really is incredibly uh, impactful in terms of the, the uh, implications of what he said. Now, it's very, very important to note here that this is a president who has said lots of outlandish statements before that his ministers, that his communications people have then subsequently walked back and clarified. So if he really means this, there are huge implications. We've reached out uh, to his senior staff for comment and have not heard back Robin, but still some very, very interesting words and, and words that could have a lot of impact in the South China Sea today from uh, the Philippine president. Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, it, it's an astonishing pivot in many ways from a geopolitical point of view. The impact, as you say, could be far reaching also. I mean, President Obama staked his presidency on this so called Asian pivot. So, what next, particularly reaction back home in the Philippines? Uh, he's been popular, but at the same time, the U.S. is popular too there. It's absolutely right. It's a very interesting dichotomy in that sense. On the one hand, President Duterte has approval ratings up into uh, the 80s, the mid-80s somewhere. But the Philippines, is, it really, year after year, is one of the countries that, when surveyed, has some of the highest favorable ratings of the United States. And what you've seen here from President Duterte is an incredibly swift pivot in his foreign policy, one from the United States now gearing more towards China. Did he go and put in the work on the ground to get the opinion of the Filipino people before doing this kind of thing? And is he, when he returns back to the Philippines from Beijing, going to face some sort of popular backlash from his citizens back home? That remains to be seen at this point, but a very interesting point you bring up there. They have a very popular president who does not agree with the decisions or the feelings of the United States that many of his countrymen have.